Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Planet Robobot. In the last episode we finished up Area 2 Resolution Road. In this episode we'll be starting Area 3 Overload Ocean. And this is kind of where I guess the game starts picking up. It's kind of, it's where you start getting kind of a story I suppose. And that's going to happen at the boss. But um, other than that it's just, you know, your regular old Kirbying. Let's go ahead and start level 1 here so we can get started. So this is probably the world I remember the least, so this ought to be fun. But uh, the reason I remember the, it the least is because it's not that hard of a world. As far as I can remember, there weren't really any... There weren't any... Thi there weren't, wasn't any code cubes that tripped me up. Also, I want that parasol. Did he just walk into the water? Hold on. Also, this is a remix of uh, an old Kirby song. I want that parasol, dude. We haven't had it since, like, forever. Yes, give it to me. Could've had fighter, but you know what? This is so much better. Look, we just destroyed a whale, and look at this. We can use it underwater. It's so cool. I love this song. This was used in Kirby 64. Basically, anything that was used in Kirby 64, I like. Because that's, like, the first Kirby game I played. I wonder if that'll block the ink. It sure will. Look at that. Just Parasol being overpowered, as usual. I'm, of course, going to want to check the underwater and the overwater here, just to make sure we don't miss anything. We gotta be thorough. Also, this is like the fifth attempt trying to record this, because, you know, college, people are loud a lot. And it's like, it's ten at night, and there are still people, like, blasting music. That's the college life, except... It's not anywhere except where I live, so... Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, that was weird. I went straight down through it. I guess maybe I pressed down to go through it, and then I pressed B. Also, he got me. I'll take my parasol back, thank you. And he should be dead. Oh, he's invincible when he does this. We destroyed him too quickly last time we saw Blocky. Actually, have we fought Blocky before? I think that might have been our first time. Huh. Once again, I'm checking to make sure there's nothing here. Looks like we're good. Let's go in the barrel. Donkey Kong Country all over again, even though I've never let's played Donkey Kong Country. How about that? Also, maybe you've noticed at this point in the video, but guess what? I have a new mic. It's a Yeti. It's real good. It ought to it ought to treat me real nice. Uh, it'll it'll pay the bills at the restaurants. That's for sure. But uh, hey, first code cube, not bad. Yeah, as you can see so far, not very hard to find, although it was just the first one, I suppose. But yeah, got a new mic, it's not gonna clip like weird stuff, and hopefully it's not picking up the sounds in the background, because it's fainter now. I banged on the wall and they turned it down, luckily, but hopefully it's just... It, 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 they Hopefully it's turned down and it cannot be picked up. So we have a mech here. Let's go ahead and pick up fire, I guess, even though we just used it. Oh, we need fire, actually. Okay, so this is a returning mechanic from, like, Adventure and Nightmare in Dreamland. Kill the fire guy, please. Okay, he'll just be there. Uh, we're going to put this here, and we're going to be able to light the fire. Can we not light the fire just by running over it? Oh, yep, there we go. Because we do have this fire trail now that we're Fire Robo Kirby. And get in the cannon, it'll shoot us. There's going to be a couple of secrets you get through that. That was just a one-up, but I'm pretty sure there's some more important things later on. There's a second code cube. I do wonder how we're going to get that. This just brings us over to the other side. So we could just move on, or... Oh yeah, here we go. So, if we go up... Okay, looks like we'd be able to try twice, but we don't want to go on that right side. We actually want to go on this left side here. Go ahead and light the fuse, and there we go! Get the code cube, second code cube, and that's going to automatically open up the way, and we'll be able to move on. Nothing over there except for a Gordo, though, so no need to mess with that. We could probably kill these octopus things now. I don't think we could kill those before. There's a free sticker, I guess. Oh, hi there. Uh, let's go ahead and take sword. Hopefully we don't need fire for anything else. I just do enjoy it sword a bit more. Boom. And every time we kill one of those, they give us food, so 
Ooh, we saw another fire. I think that might mean... Huh. No, we just get out here. Looks like we have something to do down here. Uh, there's a path to the back. Oh, and there's a third code cube. Easy. Oh, I didn't even see him there. So whenever you get hit underwater, you're probably going to lose your ability. Because if it pops out of you, there's no way to get it underwater. Because, of course, you can't... You can't breathe in. You just blow out bubbles like most other Kirby games. So, yeah. Be careful. And someone just banged on the wall because they were playing music really loudly. College life. It's fun. Get out of here. So we got all the code cubes. We shouldn't need to get anything else. There's the finish. I feel like they'd put a rare sticker down there, but I'm not 100% sure. Is there like... A wall in between those? No, there's not. I have to check it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I gotta. Because what's the point? I mean, we could just jump up through. Wait. There's a way back here. Now, why would that be there? Is there something back here? An invisible door? No. There's mirror. Why is it letting us go back here? Is this just an alternate part of the level? Oh, I want to hit the box. Hey, there's the rare sticker. Okay, so I guess that's what that's for. There you go. There's a rare sticker. We found it. And that's the first time I found that sticker too, so I don't know what it is. Also, hold on. Let me check something here. It looks like you don't like head bonk. Oh, no, you do. Because I was falling from, like, far distances with Mirror. I was thinking maybe you don't head bonk because you do the skating thing. But there you go. That's how you get that rare sticker. Then that's exactly what I thought we were going to find. So there you go. Easy as that. Good thing I went out of my way to find it. So here we have the goal game. What can we get? Uh, that looks like a high two. Not quite one. Yeah, nope. Almost stripped over the edge. Real close to that one. Also, you can see the enemy back there floating in the distance. So what do we got? We got Kirby Ball from Canvas Curse. Fire Lion from Superstar Ultra. That's not even a rare sticker. That looks like a rare sticker. We got the original Kirby from Kirby's Dream Land. Not bad. That's like from the box art, except it's not white and black. Because back then, they didn't decide if they wanted Kirby to be pink or yellow. So they just like, eh, we'll just make him white because the game's black and white. Who's going to notice? That's how that went down. Easy. So now we have level two. No reason to rape. No reason. Mm, no reason to waste time. Let's get in there. That's what I was trying to say. Wheel. You know we gotta. So another thing that wheel can do is, uh, it can float on the water for a short amount. Of, not float, but tread the water for a short amount of time. It's kind of cool. Just to go right over. People are screaming. That's fine. Go a little faster and here is the robot now i wonder is this the level where we get to use wheel as the robot because that is something you get yeah sure enough here it is so this turns it into like a car of sorts and it has a special ability really all you can do is like press b to dash but if there is a background you can press up or down to switch sides you can also press l and r so that's going to be the main mechanic of whenever you get wheel with Mech Kirby. It's kind of like Jet where it's its own little sequence, but it's different because it's still kind of still playing the game. And there's our first code cube easily enough. Uh, and there's a sticker. So just overshoot that if you want the sticker. Also the cool music again whenever we get the mech, I love it. And I believe that's it really. There's nothing else you can do. A plus B, speed burst. Oh, that's just jumping with this with the dash. And any of those? The legendary racer zooms down the track. Three, two, one, turbo accelerate. Yeah, that's it. So there's not much to do there. There is a orange door. Now is that timed? I wonder. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we want to quickly just do that. Get right back over. Boom, we're in there easy so what are we doing here it looks like we're just racing it so don't mess up or else we will die 
Boom. Code cube. Easy as that. So now we just need one more code cube. There's probably a rare sticker somewhere in here, maybe. Giant whales that we can run straight into and knock out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, most of these sections are going to be a lot focused on switching back and forth. Okay, here it is. This is what we need to do. We need to not fall down. It's going to get a little tricky in some parts. There it is. There's the code cube. That wasn't the tricky part I was thinking of. There's a trickier one later on. But is that it? I think it might be. There is a path back here once more. Is this the rare sticker? It is. There it is. Easy. Easy. Not even hard. So now we can just finish the level because we've gotten everything important. Oh, here we go. We need to... So pressing B will move this little thing forward and you need to keep it in the... The perfect area to carve out the goal, I guess, out of stone. And then somehow it magically just turns into, like, gold and whatever. So, easy level, really easy level, not hard at all. We're at, oh, we're only at 11 minutes, guys. What do I do to fill the time? Do I do three up? Do I do three levels? Oh, I think I do three levels. This might be two, this might be a world where we do two episodes of three levels each because that was so ridiculously short that it's not even funny wow that took no time i guess since i'm spending less time going over abilities that are new since there's not really that many new abilities that might be saving some time there we got grill from Sue kirby's star stacker never played star stacker not gonna lie so not sure the of the Significance there, Beetley. Yeah, in Kirby Triple Deluxe, there was a there was an ability called Beetle, and it was similar to Jet, I suppose, because you could fly without having to like puff. But you know, it's Beetle. I think that was in Superstar. Heck if I know. So yeah, we have plenty of time here. So I'm just going to go on to level three because I don't want to make the episodes too short. I would say like a minimum of 14 minutes is what I'd go for. Oh yeah, and it's underwater this time, so that's pretty. We don't start at the bottom, however. We are quite a bit ways up. That's one of my one of the things I like. It doesn't make you walk all the way up. Like, in the second world, it had us use wheelie all the way up. Uh, the first world, it just had us walk. Second world, it had wheelie. Third world, we started at the top because it was filled with water. Oh, we could get, we could get ninja, but you know what? We have wheels, so we're invincible. Who cares? Okay, maybe we should not have wheel. Ugh, that's that's dangerous. All right, so when we're in the background, no, it's still scrolling. This is an auto scroller, by the way. Uh, is that going to like show a sticker? It is. Okay. So we can't move forward or behind. We can just like walk, run into this wall here, but it's not going to kill us. Running into the back wall doesn't do anything. Just got to roll with it, and hopefully you don't get squished. Basically, it's it's going to be a little slow paced. But of course, that will give us a little bit of a longer level to lengthen out this episode. What do we got? Star, no star, star. OK, so get the star, miss the star, get the star and we're good. There's a there's a mic back there. Star, no star, star. So what that means is we're going to see a little uh, transfer star here. We're going to want to get this one. Now we're going to want to skip the next one and then get the third one. Hmm, I think I could use... Oh, you know what? Let's get... Let's get Mike. Who cares? Rock out to our tunes. Boom. Get some. Instant kill. You can't handle my singing. So there's going to be the one that comes. We want to skip this one. Go behind a wall pretty much how you know you made it. Yeah, I'll let that die. If your ability hits spikes as well, it will un automatically break. I feel like there was a sticker there. Oh no, that's going to kill the cutter, dude. Kind of wanted it, but eh, we can live without it. So from that, we get a code cube. Easy as that. Go ahead and heal ourselves and let's move on. So what else do we have in this level? Uh, we have Parasol! Yep, <laughs> we are... we are set. No more need to... I think this guy's invincible. 
Yeah, we can't destroy that. I don't know what... No, it shoots lasers, okay. We could also get ESP, we could get beam, but guess what? Wait, what? Oh, we can only hit them while they're open. I understand now. Wait, what? Did... Did I miss a mech? Is there going to be a mech later on in here? Or... No, I feel like we should definitely have it by now. Where the heck did I miss a mech? I can't think of any area that I missed a mech. Was I just too fixated on parasol? Was that la- Oh, it was just right there, just sitting there, and I missed it. Wow. That would have been dumb. Okay, we can't absorb him. So where the- I want that ESP then, because that's like the best. Get out of here, dude. Boom. ESP. We are set as heck. Just run through the level like this. We're invincible. Alright, now we can do this. So what do we need this for? Uh, oh, you know what? We probably want to put it there. So we can move it to the back. Because I don't think you can bring it with you. And we can... Yeah, there we go. And that's going to allow us to get up here. Yeah, easy as that. That's for the rare sticker. Oh, you float while you're using this as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that could give you a bit of more distance on your jumps if you needed it. Here, let's bring this forward. Uh, looks like we need to bring it forward again. Yeah. And that'll get what I'm assuming is the second code cube. Boom, easy. And now we got to leave it behind, sadly. Onwards we go. That was a fun little section. I can't believe I didn't find that or see it the first time through. That was weird. We have a switch back there. So I'm assuming we... Oh yeah, we would have died if we didn't. Go ahead and hit that so we can move on forward. Gosh, I just love Parasol. And it wasn't until I played this game that I got an appreciation of Parasol. Because it makes you invincible, dude. Like, it, well, it has a lot of invincibility to it. It's not like outright you're invincible. Also, Leaf, get out of my face. Does it protect you from the laser? I don't think it does. But that would have been rad if it did, but I doubt it does because lasers kind of go through things. Hit that button as well. Don't know what it does, but I saw it there in the background, so we're going to see what it did. Probably opened up like a sticker or something. Oh no, that gets you the second, the third code cube. Like I said, the code cubes in this level, or in this world, aren't really that hard to come by, and that's it. That's the end. With some extra stars. Now, if you stay around, you will get squished. So, do in fact go in there. Did I see? It looked almost like I could go over the end of that level. To, like, find a how room or something. That was horrible. Horribly timed. Still haven't gotten any of the stickers that I want to show off, so hopefully we get it here. That would be pretty sweet. Mr. Star from Star Stacker, once again. Never played it. Uh, People of the Sky from Triple Deluxe. Nice. And we've gotten 50 unique stickers. Not bad at all. And another Waddle Doo Ball. Our, th our third Waddle Doo. But we still haven't gotten the good stickers. The really good stickers. That's a shame. Anyway, I'm going to end it off there. In the next episode, we might... Now, okay, see, it looks... Like we're actually going to have five stages here, and then an extra stage and the boss. So I might just do two stages. I don't want... I want to end the episode after the boss, though. So I'm thinking maybe it might either be a long episode or it's going to be two levels and then two levels. Hopefully it's one or the other. But uh, yeah without any more uh, worrying about that. See you all in the next episode when we do levels four and five, at the very least, of Overload Ocean. See you all then, and goodbye.